In the past video, I did qualitative coding using Microsoft Word. In this video, I'm going to do qualitative coding using one of the most popular qualitative data analysis softwares, which is NVivo. You're going to do some coding, and remember, a code is a label or an interpretive statement to particular information that's important to our research questions or research objectives. We only code information that's important to our research questions or research objectives. Also remember there are two types of codes which are semantic codes which show the obvious meaning of words or, and the latent codes which show the deeper meaning of certain statements or words. We are going to do the coding now in NVivo and just try to get some codes on a transcript with an example of a topic. Before we get to coding let me first show you where i get my transcripts that i'll be using for this coding you go to a website called figshare and you search for transcripts and you can see different transcripts that you can use to practice how to code and to do thematic analysis through this website called figshare this is where i get the transcripts i use for my videos okay with that out of the way let me show you the transcript that we are going to analyze so we are going to analyze this transcript the topic that i'm going to focus on for this video is the experiences of women with immune treatments for fertility okay experiences of women with immune treatments for fertility now because we are using in vivo i have my in vivo i'm going to double click on in vivo and try to open in vivo then i'm going to import this transcript then I'll show you some basics of NVivo and then we're going to do a few codes, okay? I'm going to show you how we can develop a few codes. Now we have NVivo. When you open NVivo the first time, this is what you see. The first thing you should do is click on this area and call this new project area and call this qualitative coding. I just want to call it qualitative coding example then I can browse this and just go to documents I can go to desktop I can go to my folders and just save this here okay so you have to choose the folder you want to save your document of course click next again here you have to select the auto save project option should be say no and display save reminder every 10 to 15 minutes why because if you allow nvivo to auto save your project sometimes it crashes and your work will disappear so have a save reminder every 15 to 20 minutes as you are working then create project now let's look inside nvivo this is the inside of nvivo nvivo has different menus that you should just first not focus so much on so it has this menu at the top another menu that's next to it and the blue menu let's use the blue menu as a beginner just focus on the files area in the data area we have files and the in the coding area we have codes so files and codes these are the two areas we are going to use let's close this message and let's go get our transcript there are two ways to import transcripts into nvivo first we can go to the transcript drag it and drop it inside remember we are clicking on the file section and this if the document is open in word or any other software it's not going to be imported let me close it first let's do this again let's go to the document drag and drop okay in the file section so that document is imported you can also go to import in the top menu files then go grab the document and open and that's another way of importing documents into nvivo now we have imported our document and i have told you that we are only going to use the files and the codes section in the file section let's double click on our transcript this is the transcript and then let's click on the code section now in the code section you can create some folders that you are going to use to manage your data in the code section you can right click go to new folders and create a folder called initial codes you can see there is a folder that appears below the codes area this is where we are going to put our initial codes and i can close that message we are either going to drag and drop the statements here or the interviewee quotes 
or we are going to use another approach. Experiences of women with immune treatments for fertility is what we are trying to code. Remember, we are doing qualitative coding. Let's just read. This is the background and contact question one. So myself and my husband started trying to have a baby in March 2017. I tried for a year before we went to our GP. We can highlight this statement and either drag and drop it here. If you drag and drop, this dialog box will pop and we can say try to conceive naturally for a year with no success and click ok you can see that's where the code goes and the codes is in the initial codes folder as you can see here try to conceive naturally for a year with no success before we went to our gp or you can highlight this and drag and drop and say try to conceive naturally naturally for a year before seeking medical help okay so that's another code don't worry about these two codes for the same section when you are beginning with you can always come back and delete your codes and rename them and then started having all the nhs tests had some treatment with nhs in january 19 just over a year ago so had one round of nhs ivf which was obviously pretty kind of standard no add-ons and that wasn't successful all this section where they are saying that they started nhs tests, then they had nhs ivf treatment which was not successful. I'm going to drag and drop that here and say head NHS IVF fertility treatments which we are not successful. Click OK. That's another code. Let me interrupt this video for a minute and inform you of my services. My first type of service that I offer is consulting for anything related to qualitative data analysis using NVIGO. You hop on a video call with me through Microsoft Teams or Zoom and I will help you become a pro with NVIGO in a few hours. I also provide a done for you data analysis service. I do the manual coding and provide a data analysis report with the necessary visuals. Some kind of visuals I do include tables, hierarchy charts, and the framework matrix. Email or message me right now, details in the description. You can see now we have three codes and we keep doing the qualitative coding. So then we went to another clinic in London which offers immune treatment and that's how I came to that. I won't say that it was a conscious decision to go to a clinic that offered immune treatment. My sister went to that clinic as well for a completely unrelated fertility issue. We don't have any similarities in our fertility issues but um, because she went there it was just one of the options available to me. I was definitely planning on pursuing immune treatment when I went to that clinic initially. All that statement can be referred by the sister for immune treatment for fertility okay so your sister had been there had she been successful with fertility treatment yes she had so good advice yeah yeah we can imply here all these issues that past success of the sister with immune treatment or fertility influence interview with decision to procure the same treatment so this code is past success of sister with immune treatments for fertility influence interview with decision to procure the same treatment and we click ok so you can see I have five codes already and we keep going so did you move to the nhs because of the amount of rounds you had used or was it a conscious effort to move away yes they offered one round i mean they obviously offer private rounds as well which would have been significantly cheaper at the clinic i went to let's start here when i was making that decision i had really a positive experience of my nhs clinic right click had a positive 
experience procuring immune treatment for fertility in an NHS clinic okay those are different codes we have six for now and we can keep coding the whole transcript when you are doing qualitative coding you have to go through your whole transcript and keep coding i went ahead and got all the codes but this is how we get qualitative code you can also highlight a section instead of dragging and dropping it here in nvivo you can highlight a section you want to code for instance you can highlight like this then go to code selection then go to initial codes and then top level code and then just create the code like a b c then click code selection and you get the code there now for nvivo it's very easy to retrieve the quotes when you do coding and that's why we use such software because it allows you to track things easily and to manage them and to be able to combine codes easily to form themes based on shared meaning for instance for this code, if I double click on it, you can see the quote where I got it from. You can see the quote only if I double click. Okay, let me delete this ABC thing so that it doesn't confuse you. For example, the code had a positive experience procuring immune treatment. When I was making that decision, I had really positive experience in my NHS clinic. Okay, so had a positive experience procuring immune treatment. That's an example, by the way, of if we are considering either semantic or latent codes. Semantic codes are those that have obvious meanings based on the words that someone says latent codes are those that have deeper meaning or we are trying to interpret what someone says or what an interviewee says deeply really positive experience procuring immune treatment this is an example of a semantic code let's double click on try to conceive and look at this statement so myself and my husband started trying to have a baby in march 17 it was and tried for a year tried to conceive naturally for a year with no success so that's an example of a kind of a latent code because i'm interpreting then also tried to conceive for a year before seeking medical help because they said that so myself and my husband started trying to have a baby in march 17 it was and tried for a year before we went to our gp you see that's another example of a semantic code because we are just inferring what someone says directly had NHS IVF fertility treatments which were not successful let's read the quote and then started having all NHS tests we had some treatment with NHS in January 19 just over a year ago um, so had one round of NHS IVF which was obviously pretty kind of standard and no add-ons and that was unsuccessful we are interpreting that into that code basically that's how we develop codes in NVivo now in some instances based on the questions that someone is asking you can use the questions and the codes that you get from specific questions you can color code them for instance let's look at this transcript background context question if you look at that question you can see i had like try to conceive naturally all the codes from that question i can mark them as red i'm going to show you where those letters appear to try to conceive naturally again color right click color red had nhs ivf treatment which was which were not successful i think this one came from the third question so that one is color i'm gonna give it a dark green refer to sister for immune treatment this one was still in question number one so red. past successes with sister you can see this follow-up question i'm going to give that a color code of dark blue and then had a positive experience procuring immune treatment I think that one was asked in question number three so that green now let's close you can see these colors on my right here you can use the color codes so that you know where the codes came from the questions that the codes came from so that when you get to the point where you right click you create a new folder you say preliminary themes you can now be able to classify your codes into themes more easily and look for shared meaning now this video is not about getting themes this video is about qualitative coding using nvivo and that's how we perform qualitative coding using nvivo of course i have detailed videos that i have done before that will explain to you how we do qualitative coding and how we even get themes after we get codes but for the purposes of this video there are resources that i have here 
because I conducted this analysis for the whole transcript and even got deems, even wrote a data analysis report, I'm going to share these resources in the description. If you need to check them to see the full work of the coding and then combining the codes to get deems, kindly check the link in the description and you'll be able to see things like this and vivo i'm trying to open right now we have this and vivo you can see like how i've done the dara work and you can see like for that transcript i had 313 codes and i even got themes after getting the initial codes then we revise them we get preliminary themes and we get final themes through the brown and clark approach which i also have described more in my previous videos kindly go and watch my other videos to get a more in-depth insight on how to conduct qualitative coding and how to move from codes to themes and from themes to writing the findings report thank you remember i provide done for you data analysis services and consulting services for any problem or challenge related to nvivo so check the link and email in the description and talk to me right away thank you